Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. Thank you. This is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, November the 4th. <clears throat> Please pardon my voice. I think I'm coming down with a little bug of some sort. Anyway, this is the 21st week after Pentecost and week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 61 and 62, and Luke chapter 13, verse 1 through 9. And please join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before our songs of joy. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, hear my cry, O God, attend my prayer. Alleluia, Psalms 61 and 62. <clears throat> Alleluia, hear my cry, O God, attend my prayer. From the ends of the earth I cry out to you. My heart is overwhelmed. Put me on a big high rock. For you have been my shelter and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in your tabernacle forever and trust in the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those that fear your name. You will prolong my life and may my years cover as many generations. May I forever abide before you May love and truth preserve me. And so I sing praise to your name forever and perform my vows each day. Alleluia, my soul waits for you, my God. You alone are my salvation. You alone are my rock and my defense, and I shall not be moved. How long will they attack me? They shall be slain, all of them. They will be like a tottering wall and like a tumbling fence. They plan only to destroy. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouths, but inwardly they curse. And my soul waits for you, my God, for I hope in you alone. You alone are my rock and my defense, and I shall not be moved. You are my salvation and my glory. You are the rock of my strength and my refuge. Trust in God, all you people. Pour out your hearts before God, our refuge. The lowly are but an illusion, and the great are but a lie. Placed in the scales they rise, they are lighter than air. Trust not in extortion, and take no pride in robbery. Do not set your heart on riches, even if they increase. God has spoken once, and twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God alone. And also to you, my God, belongs love, for you repay us all according to our deeds. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear my cry, O God. Attend my prayer. Alleluia. A lesson from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 13, beginning at verse 1. At that very time, there were some present who told Jesus about the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And he asked them, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were worse sinners than all other Galileans? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them? Do you think they were worse offenders than all the others living in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all perish, just as they did. And then he told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it and found none. 
So he said to the gardener, See here, for three years I've come looking for fruit on this fig tree, and still I find none. Cut it down. Why should it be wasting the soil? And he replied, Sir, let it alone for one more year, until I dig around it and put manure on it. If it bears next fruit, fruit next year, well and good, but if not, you can cut it down. Here ends the lesson. And now let us uh, pray for the church and the world. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Bill and Tom and Richard and Joe, and for all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the mercy of God community, and for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray, hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We trust in you alone, O God, and place our hope in you. Be our sure defense, for to you belongs all power and glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.